Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Sagittarius June 13, 2022. It can feel good to take a step back and think about or analyze your feelings today. Relationship matters you might discuss now tend to be light and airy. It's not a great time to go deep, but it's suitable for observing and analyzing. With a new moon occurring tomorrow, it's better to unwind and tie up loose ends than push something forward. Still, it's an excellent time to dream up new ideas and turn on to different interests. Be patient about putting exciting new plans into action. Fresh approaches to relating are in order. You're expressing yourself more freely and playfully, and this may very well open up a door of opportunity. Some areas of your life need some room and space for exploration breaking free from some of the rules or expectations helps improve them. This is particularly evident with hobbies, leisure, children, love, romance, and partnership. Whether you're single or already committed to your special someone, chances are you're making the conscious decision to prioritize your individual freedom at this time. Although, despite the sun's close proximity to rebellious Uranus via your committed seventh house of agreements, compromise, and significant others which is precisely what is pushing you towards embracing your autonomy, having both Mars Venus dazzling your third house of communication is working in your favor. You're not only more expressive with your seductive charm but also incredibly attractive in your local community. In the meantime, you may want to check your DMs and LinkedIn alerts. Something's brewing. While the moon was in Libra over the last few days, you may have been surprised with how authoritative you have been in a conversation or your work groups. But the moon leaves Libra for Scorpio today, indicating a shift in your perception of your private life. Unique Luna implies that you may not so secretly want to live an unconventional lifestyle or in an atypical setting. However, attaining a custom lifestyle can be difficult and may require a bit of work. You may need to consider innovative means to make money to sustain your desired livelihood. The last five days have seen the moon spread some positive energy on both sides of the financial fence. It was over the weekend that the moon's monthly visit to your income sector created some positive energy on the income and job fronts before going on to form a friendly aspect to planets on the financial front over the last few days. As the moon moves on, this leaves you with a better sense of your needs and priorities on both sides of the financial fence. You're feeling really antsy, but in a good way. Try to look around your home and see what needs doing. After that's out of the way, call a smart friend and gab about your future plans. You don't shy away from the spotlight, and you are nearly always there to take the blame if something goes wrong. You don't need a wider berth, you already enjoy great freedom, even the limelight. If your usual exercise program entails a predictable routine, try incorporating something different like running by the ocean or downloading a fitness app. Use your voice. Singing out loud in the car or the shower is a good aerobic release. Your demeanor shouldn't bottle up your kundalini energies they cry to be released. With spring in the air and the essence of this day all around, you may find your interests turning towards romance. This can be especially so if you have been interested in a special someone whom you want to get to know better. Taking the initiative isn't usually challenging for you, but with the added power of this day in the air, there won't be much that stands in your way. Take the bull by the horns and make the plans that you have been dreaming about. While the moon is at odds with a stunning coming together of planetary activity on the career and job fronts today, from its position in your home and family sector it is helping to monitor your work and life balance. As Mercury spends his last weekend in your career sector his third friendly aspect to Pluto in your work sector this year is putting things into perspective on both fronts. At the same time, Venus alignment with Uranus is inspiring your professional confidence and a chance to imagine what's possible. A clash between the Moon and Venus, the planet of love is putting your work, life balance to the test today and the timing couldn't be better. While work, Life balance reminders are always easier to heat over the weekend it comes just a day before the moon is not only due to return to your romantic sector but to begin the lead up to a romantically charged full moon. Our eyes in the sky. 
During this time, psychic perceptions, emotional sensitivities, and dreams could be more vivid. We might question our intuition and second-guess our hunches. Be prepared to swim in the deep end of the ocean for the next few months. Let your heart navigate through the murky waters ahead. Our intuition has been strong, but now we're starting to question ourselves, which will be the ongoing vibe until December. Stay true to your inner feelings and don't veer from your instincts. Even though it might be challenging, follow your heart. Only it can lead you toward the truth. Relationships could prove to be more confusing than ever because you may not feel supported by your peers. Don't shy away from confrontation. Speak up and let your feelings be heard rather than hold in your emotions. Your career direction could be cloudier than ever if you're unsure what next steps are needed to increase your bank account and reach your professional goals. You could try creating a vision board and listing your plans for the future only to get lost in a Neptunian daydream, but it can still give you some direction for creating the future and life that you truly want for yourself. In the early morning, the moon squares off with Chiron in Aries and sees us chastising ourselves for past failures. The Scorpio moon can be punishing, defining success in terms of influence. And during its square to Chiron, we might struggle with self-esteem. In our youth, a parent or person of authority may have chided our passions, suggesting that we didn't have what it takes to make it an impact, and we have adopted this critical tone as adults in self-defense. At this time, we should consider the kind of leader we want to be, one who leads with courage and takes risks, or one who is modeled after those early life naysayers, who used their power to keep others small. How we behave now sets an example for those around us, so choose wisely. Following this connection, the moon trines Uranus in Taurus. A change in perspective necessitates a shift in ideals, and although the Scorpio moon still has us consumed with upholding a legacy, impressing those who have come before us and leaving a mark for those who come after, Uranus reminds us that our task is to update these expectations, not to replicate them. We exist in the here and now, and we cannot greet the future by imitating the past. When we embrace the unexpected, we liberate ourselves, revising our conditioning through a marriage of common sense and progressive ideology.